Welcome back. This holiday season, campfire survivors are still top of mind. For many, there's little to go home to this Christmas. 14,000 homes are gone, 86 people are dead, and three people are still missing. Today, our Daniela Pardo went to Chico to talk to a family who shared mixed emotions as they move forward after this loss. This was the one year ago. On Christmas Day, the Romero family reminisced how different things were last year at the home where they spend every holiday and family gathering. We called it the Romero Homestead. It was everybody's house. Yeah. Their house was among the thousands destroyed in last month's deadly and devastating campfire. I found you know, keys. Like so many people struggling with the pain of losing everything, the Romeros are dealing with a wide range of emotions on this Christmas. For 25 years, we went to their house and we decorated the tree with like old ornaments, you know, things we've had since I was little. It's weird. It is very like awkward. You feel awkward. Um, Good word. Not going home and not having that tree. While Debbie and Alfredo Romero are grateful their daughter opened up her home, it's still hard to accept they're never going to be able to go back to the place they called home for so many years. It's this weird, displaced, foreign feeling of like you're floating through life right now. Oh, it's great. It's, it's, you can't put your feet down anywhere. Then last week, an early Christmas present. This is the best thing. I now I actually feel complete. While sifting through rubble, his daughter Allison found four rings that helped her dad feel like himself again. This one represents my mom. It's the Lord's Prayer I'm shaking. And this one is gold. This represents my dad, my family. This is the only thing I wanted to find. We have our faith. It's getting us through. But there, we just talked about it this morning. Yeah. There is a time to mourn. There is a time to grieve. And there's a time to laugh and time to cry. There's all these moments. And our moment right now is in waves. In Chico, Daniela Pardo, ABC 10 News.